Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. As with any review, this may contain spoilers. Honestly, I don't know what is the proper way to pronounce this movie. Is it Godzilla x Kong? I guess that's what it is. The last one was Godzilla vs Kong, which made sense since in that film they were fighting each other and now they're teaming up. Anyways, this falls under the action sci-fi genre of movies. This is a continuation of Godzilla vs Kong that came out in 2021. The story follows Monarch as he tracked the whereabouts of Godzilla, Kong, and other titans. Kong lives in Hollow Earth, while Godzilla lives on the surface and fights against titans that pose a threat to the surface world. Monarch has an observational outpost in Hollow Earth and not only track Kong, but also study the environment there. One day, an unidentified signal is broadcasted and this causes Godzilla to prepare for battle. Gia, the last known survivor of the Iwi tribe from Skull Island, picks up on the signal and experiences visions. As the Monarch team ventures down to the outpost, they find the outpost in ruins. As the team team treks through the area, they come across an iwi ruin, which then leads them to a discovery that takes them by surprise. It was later explained that there was a battle between Godzilla and the Scar King, who is of the same species as Kong. The Scar King was trapped by Godzilla in Hollow Earth, but after all these years, the Scar King is becoming a threat again, and as it holds power over a nice power titan named Shimu. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. This is what leads Godzilla to prepare. Kong and Godzilla teaming up are the only things that can stop Scar King and Shimu from destroying the surface world. As I was watching the film, it reminded me of Transformers. It's essentially the Transformers of monsters. It has the same type of visual style and, and just the, the, the vibe of it. Transformers for me has run its course. I, I, I don't really enjoy them anymore. That doesn't mean I'm not going to watch them though. The movie is the prototypical popcorn film and for what it is, it's a fun movie. You accept what's happening and just enjoy the ride. That doesn't mean it can be complete trash and you just have to accept it. But luckily there was enough in the story to make it acceptable. Is this in the same league as Godzilla minus one? Not even close. If you want to have a good time at the movies and just want to see something light and fun, this may be worth watching. If you stuck around this long, why not give the video a like and subscribe, it's free. And also check out my other videos. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the film. See you in the next review.